Our first stop on the train to New York City was the RBC Brooklyn Half. Yeah, it's funny that this year we have a lot longer to build up to the New York City Marathon, the TCS New York City Marathon. And it all started here on a trip to Brooklyn. <laughs> Let's go, baby. So this is the first time that our team of 10 got together and met each other. And it was a ton of fun. Yeah, it was nice to see the personalities coming out. So immediately once we got off the train and entered New York City, we made our way over to the Brooklyn Bridge Marriott. And there, we got to shoot some video of the team. New York City, heading out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Yeah. The, the Marriott. Yeah, so a big group of us came from Baltimore together, and then we met up with Megan, Emily, and Jess also on the team. And like Thomas said, we filmed our introductory videos. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get revenge on the course after that last year of brutal heat. Post-race celebratory beverage, always a margarita. There will come a day when I can no longer do this. Today will not be that day. When you get to that pain cave, everybody tries to avoid it and it feels awful, but coming through it, you're that much stronger. I love the marathon because it it breaks me in like the worst possible way and I have continued after that, so. I'm most excited for just the energy of New York. I might be biased because I'm from New York. I'm going for a good time and hopefully a better time than last year. I love being out there in the sun. I don't mind getting up early, so this is my time to shine. I love that you can't fake the marathon. You can't just show up on race day and expect to race a marathon well. You have to put in the work before you get to that line. If you're signing up for this race, nine out of 10, you put a bunch of working so I'm just excited to be in the atmosphere to be with the Believe in the Run crew and riding up the train to NYC. From there we met up with Jen from New Balance who walked us over to the Brooklyn Half pre-party presented by New Balance which was located at Pier 2 in the Brooklyn Bridge Park. This is a lot of fun because all of us have different levels and different experience with doing marathons and expos and every expo is a little bit different and this one was quite special. Yeah it was an awesome venue where we picked up our bibs it was a party there was uh, a Concert, whole, basketball yeah. courts. Des Linden was there signing books. We went and got our VIP bibs, which was very cool. And what about the view, Meg? Yeah, just took in the view, which was absolutely spectacular. Yeah, it was the East River, and you could see both the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge from the park. And it was just a gorgeous day. It was like 70, clear, low humidity. It was perfect. We even ran into Spider-Man. Nice. Believe in the run, right? Yeah. Hi. Well, I'm Spidey. Hi, you. Spidey. Nice to meet you. Thanks for all the service. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Always glad to help out, you know? Yeah. Are you gonna be, the are you going to be running tomorrow? I will be, yeah. How awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're going to try. Do you guys know this Believe in the Run team? We're all going to be running this Spider-Man, guys. Yeah, sure. We'll all be around you guys, you know, maybe in front or in the back. We're the party pace, so we'll be in the back. We'll uh, yeah, keep the city safe. Of course, yeah. All right, buddy. Safe too, okay? All right, take it easy. Yeah, we'll see you around. So after we all got our bibs, um, we walked over to dinner together at a place called Bote, Brooklyn. And I have to say, I was impressed. The food was great. Yeah, we all got some good Italian carved up before our half marathon in the morning. Some of us even had some celebratory drinks and some birthday cake. Yes, <laughs> all of that was involved. Hey, you. Happy birthday, dear Allison. Happy birthday to you. So after a restless night of sleep for some of us, we had an early start. So the race started at 7 a.m. and we all agreed to meet in the lobby of our hotel at 5 a.m. Lo from our team walked out of the elevator and was so hyped and ready to go that it just set the tone for the entire day. I was like, save some energy for the RBC Brooklyn half, my man. Then we Ubered over to the start line where we met up with Allie Feller, who actually was our escort and walked us all the way to the VIP hospitality. Had a couple carbs, had some coffee, had some Gatorade. I don't know, just chilled out and tried to calm our nerves before the race started. So after we spent some time in the VIP area, we walked over to the corrals. There's 26,000 people that run this event, so we were all kind of spread out, but we each found our corrals and then the race started. I was the only one who ran with a GoPro for this race. I was running it as a progression run. Brandon and I decided to stick together the entire time. So we caught some footage through the beginning. You can tell it was very crowded. I mean, tw like I said, 26,000 people run this event. So we were packed in for a really long time, but it was beautiful to run through the park. 
Uh, there was definitely some nice big climbs in there, which we tackled. And then you get a really, really nice downhill around mile five and six that then takes you to a straightaway all the way down to Coney Island. Hey, Brandon, five miles into our progression run. Yeah? How you doing? Oh, progression run, I thought this was a race. <laughs> I'm definitely putting forward race efforts. <laughs> Keep the grind alive. It was a lot of fun hearing people shout out Believe and Believe in the Run and yell our names out. It was really neat that I got to run with one of our fans and friends, Lynn, and he took us all the way from a day that I was feeling pretty beat up all the way to the finish line, stuck with me. It was warmer than we expected. In fact, we were all pretty soaking wet uh, at the finish line, and it wasn't necessarily from rain. So we all sweated out there, but I think everyone would say it was a very, very fun race. It was a little wet. We ended up with the rain coming in as we finished the race. We made our way to a little stadium right off of the boardwalk. So we're at Coney Island, and the VIP area here was in a baseball park, like a little one right off of the beach. Yeah, so we got to stay in the suites, which was especially nice because as soon as we all finished, it started to downpour. And we had some snacks and some food to kind of keep us going. We all ended up packing into one Uber XL. I think there was 11 of us. A bit ridiculous, but so much fun. Now this was challenging because we were trying to find a place to eat and it was raining. We had to hop from place to place. Eventually we landed at a place called Superfine for lunch and we met up with a bunch more people and, and enjoyed that quite a bit. Finishing up at Superfine, we made our way back to the hotel where we decided to watch the Preakness and have some cocktails at the bar. I tried to download an app for some horse betting. It turns out that's not allowed in New York. So we just had some fun watching it and it worked out for the best because the horse I chose did not win. Yeah, we saved some money. So we hung out at the hotel bar for quite a while and the guys decided maybe they wanted a little bit more food before bed and walked down to a place called Dave's Hot Chicken. I went with the extra hot chicken, Megan. Might have been a mistake. After that, we all called it a night. The next morning, we woke up, met in the lobby around 8 a.m. and walked to go get bagels together. Now, I have to say, the bagels were okay. They weren't as good as my Meg's bagels. Yeah, that's what I've that's what I've been told. But yeah, so overall the trip was was so much fun. I could not be more excited to have this group of people together on this train to New York City. Yeah, and a big shout out and thanks to both the New York Roadrunners and New Balance for making this possible. And we're excited to take you along for the rest of the trip. 